Hi guys, good evening to all, and this is Mike once again, returning to our weather analysis for this Monday to Wednesday, October 3 to 5, 2022, and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. It looks like we are quiet right now across the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific. We don't have any uh, low pressure systems developing over the uh, tropical uh, uh, seas of the uh, Western Pacific. And it's all pure intertropical convergence zone across Micronesia. And here over the Philippine Islands, we have a uh, emergence of the easterly surface wind flow or the easterlies. And it's now getting stronger, bringing some rains and thunderstorms across Luzon. So right now, especially the eastern sections from uh, Cagayan Valley down to northern Quezon, there will be some... Uh, heavy thunderstorms that could bring some landslides and uh, flooding in low-lying areas. While uh, across Luzon, uh, it's partly sunny to cloudy skies with afternoon and evening rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected. Over the Bicol region, uh, we have also some small patches of thunderstorms, but most of them are developing over southern Quezon and moving into the uh, Calabar zone area. And also the easterlies is affecting northern Palawan, Calamian, Mindoro, and uh, Marinduque. While uh, uh, surface trough is bringing some rains and thunderstorms as well across the whole island of Mindanao and the central and eastern sections of the Visayas. So the wind system is now beginning to shift and we are now into the transition month of October and uh, anytime today or within the week or even next week, Pagasa will uh, be issuing the uh, termination of the uh, southwest monsoon so it's up to them to release on what day but for me uh, personally it's already the end of the southwest monsoon since for the next 10 days there will be a blast of first uh, blow of the northeasterly wind flow it's quite strong reaching a gust of uh, 80 kph particularly the uh, european model while others at around 60 50 kph across extreme northern zone so it's quite unusual to see this kind of uh, developing high pressure cell at this time of the year, usually uh, they come November, but uh, next week the computer models are forecasting a blast of northeasterly wind flow across extreme northern Luzon. And we are going to show to you that there are possible there is there is a possibility of developing low pressure systems uh, by next week across uh, the West Philippine Sea and uh, over the Philippine Sea as well all of the way towards the areas of Guam because some models are developing uh, tropical cyclone uh, formation by next week. So we are going to observe that and uh, keep an eye on the uh, tropics for possible development. Now up here we have the uh, remnants of Tropical Storm Roque. Just uh, It's now a subtropical system which is moving towards the east-northeast it's no longer tropical, but it has a little characteristics of a tropical system. That's why it's known as a subtropical. But uh, nevertheless, it's no longer a tropical cyclone. And the uh, final warning of Roque was issued yesterday uh, afternoon. Okay, uh, by the way, here's the fast animation from the University of Wisconsin tropical cyclone page. You can clearly see here the... Uh, Effects of the easterly uh, trade winds bringing some thunderstorms across uh, portions of Luzon and the uh, and also some surface troughing over Mindanao and uh, eastern and central Visayas as well. And if we uh, take a look at the uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com, you can clearly see here the uh, thick cloudiness with lots of thunderstorms across uh, various sections of Luzon. Southern Quezon, portions of the Bicol region, as well as uh, um, some surface troughing over Mindanao and eastern central Visayas. And if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until Wednesday, uh, lots of thunderstorms will still be expected across the uh, whole of the archipelago, except for 
extreme northern Luzon and Cordillera administrative region, the Locos region. But the rest, there will be uh, some chances of thunderstorms becoming more frequent over eastern Luzon because of the uh, uh, prevailing easterlies. So that includes Aurora, Northern Quezon, and Purillo as well. Bicol region, there will be also some chances of thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. And if you take a look at the wind forecast for the next three days, until Thursday, tomorrow, by tomorrow, easterlies will still prevail, and it's now... Uh, extending across Visayas and eastern Mindanao. Wednesday afternoon, uh, still same uh, easterlies turning to northeasterlies as a uh, developing high pressure builds over uh, uh, central China. And on Thursday afternoon, still the prevailing easterlies to northeasterly trade winds will be expected across Luzon, including some portions of Mimaropa. And uh, so far, that's the latest for the next three days. Now, if we, we move forward this uh, European model, since this is more reliable than the uh, rest of the uh, uh, forecast models when it comes to typhoons, okay? We're going to move this until uh, Monday, sub October, October 10, and we have here a blast or a first surge of the northeasterly surface wind flow. Not yet northeast monsoon since the northeast monsoonal flow starts uh, by November. So this is just a glimpse or a uh, preliminary blast from a temporary uh, developing high pressure cell over China. That's why it's getting stronger here by next week. So winds of up to 50 to 60 kph will be expected over extreme northern Luzon, including uh, Batanes. So there's a uh, possibility of a low pressure area forming here, northeast of Bicol. And uh, some rains and thunderstorms will be expected over the region on uh, October 10. Then move it to October 11 to 12. There you go. The uh, strong uh, surge of the northeasterlies will push that LPA towards the West Philippine Sea and it may develop into a uh, tropical depression here or, or an active LPA west of Calamian. Okay. And this is no longer a threat to the country and this is expected to move in the general direction of the South China Sea towards Vietnam. But you can clearly see here how strong is that uh, monsoonal flow. Uh, the winds from the European model is uh, topping it at 80 plus kph. It's uh, at gale force to tropical storm force winds. And as we look towards the east, this will be on October 12 as well. There's a large area of LPA to the east of Bicol region. So this is uh, something that we are going to uh, monitor for the next... Uh, one to two weeks but so far the forecast for October 12 remains at 20% uh, probability or less than 20% so we are still not sure if this we, if this is going to push through but again since the European model is showing so as uh, time goes by as days uh, as the day goes nearer to that date we could see an increase of uh, uh, forecast for ability. So right now we uh, still uh, put it at 20% and we are going to monitor the topics for more updates on this uh, situation. But uh, this will be on October 12. And then we have a uh, temporary or preliminary blast of the northeasterly wind flow. Not yet, not yet a monsoon since the, the northeast monsoon uh, is officially... Uh, officially starts during November so somehow it could be the uh, first or the preliminary uh, uh, approach of this uh, monsoon winter monsoon which is too early so this is uh, only uh, temporary so let's wait and see so uh, again uh, we are going to return on wednesday to give you more updates on this uh, tropical weather analysis here in the western pacific including the philippines and uh, don't you worry we are always here to uh, give you advance warning if we have a potential uh, system forming over the western pacific 
Again, this is Mike Padua. Uh, we'll see you again on Wednesday. I hope you have a great day and uh, stay safe always.